this is your boy Lock and Low coming to you with a banger, 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 as Z Laner says. But uh, we've been playing Warzone all this time. We know that there's cheats in there, but people's like, oh, they can recognize a cheat and this and that. But right now, these guys are so advanced, it's so hard to recognize a cheat right now. And I'm going to show you a video from a guy that uh, has been explaining uh, how the guy cheats and how it looks like, hey, this guy is a good player. He's getting 20, 30, 40, 50 kills and all this kind of stuff. Now, check out this video. And it's going to show you comparisons on what a real cheat looks like. Now, you can make your own judgment. But me and myself, I'm very convinced. Let's check it out. It's ridiculous. And the fact is that a lot of people out there are using cheats. And even when you get killed by them, you would not be able to tell. And that's the harsh truth. Cheats are so advanced now that you can adjust everything possible. From the aimbot field of view to the aimbot smoothness, to the aimbot speed, the aimbot snap. Everything you can think of is changeable. Now you see how in that video, it looked like the guy was just running around. He was doing everything, checking his heartbeat sensor, all the guys over there. But let me show you this next clip on what he actually sees on his computer screen. He checks his heartbeat now because he knows there's an enemy outside based on the fact that he's got wall hacks on show. He checks his heartbeat. Goes out and starts taking the shots. And he doesn't hit all his shots either, but he's got aimbot on. But look how small his field of view is. Again. Now you see how, from a hacker's viewpoint, what he sees on his monitor, either on the left or right in front of him or in the right, the person that he's hunting is a stick figure that I pointed out with the red circle. But in the video that I showed, the clip that I showed before, it showed that the guy was looking at his heartbeat and, okay, oh, that he's over there. But in actuality, just in case somebody was spectating him, it would look like he wasn't cheating. But this is how we are being fooled, and I'm glad somebody brought it to the light. Let's look at some more clips. Skeletons pushes over to this location to loot up a little bit. And he knows that he's in the direction of where enemies are based on the player skeletons that he can see behind the fire station and again throughout this whole gameplay you can still see his crosshair placement to be nice his movements his slide cancelling everything is still nice he looks like and moves like a warzone pro one of these warzone pros self-proclaimed pro okay but it looks like he's just checking angles now and then you see the player move okay Originally, without the wall hacks on, you could actually see that player moving. And he didn't take the shot. It looks like he's checking angles. Now you can see the player skeleton there again. You can see the low field of view aimbot. And you can see that it's not snapping onto the enemy. Until it goes onto him. But he still has to toggle it on for it to actually lock. And even then, when he was actually shooting at the truck with that perfect tracking, although it didn't actually hit anything, he only hit the truck, you could see that his crosshair placement was perfect to the enemy head there. He takes a couple of shots over into the distance, where we now know we can see player skeletons. Now we can see exactly what's going on. When you're like, man, how did he know I was right there? Or... This, he didn't even use a heartbeat sensor in this case well, the guy did before but as you see further no there's no way Activision is not doing anything about it because they got these people on the white list meaning that they're making money for them because they're popular on YouTube or Twitch and you know hey they get donations so YouTube's not saying anything because they take a part of it come on man we getting played. We paying all our money for this game and we getting played. Now let's check out our last clip. Now in the gulag, his field of view seems to have increased. And it's a very good example of showing you guys that the field of view can be increased and decreased 
That small circle that you can see in the center of the screen now is the aimbot field of view working on the cheat software. So if you want to increase it or decrease it mid game based on how intense a certain situation is, based on how good the opponent is or the enemy that you're coming up against, you can increase it or decrease it. You can adjust the settings mid game. But this is a clear example of how using cheats doesn't always look like using cheats. It's also a clear example of how a low field of view aimbot can just look like aim assist. Now, this is on keyboard and mouse. However, if you were to use it on controller, it would have the same effect. Even if you've got natural aim assist turned on in the game, it would still work. The aimbot would work. All right, guys, there you have it. I mean, you make your own assumptions. You make your own judgment. Uh, I know a lot of you play Warzone and think uh, there's no cheats or anything like that, or yeah, a lot of people do. I, I personally want to thank uh, Bad Boy Beeman um, for using this, for actually supplying this footage to all of us, but a lot of people don't know about it. So I took the video and I chopped it up and added some circles so you guys can actually see what um the aimbot looks like what the cheater is doing what they see on their monitor versus what you see on the stream um they accuse the laner of this i'm not accusing him of it but you know footage is footage this is not his video footage footage of uh, z laner but it's of a lot of these top streamers that a lot of people are getting donations from and and everything and everybody's going to look at them and this and that when you got people like murder show extendo clips uh from within gaming and holy terror and a lot of other people out there actually got skill and slaying motherfuckers you feel me with no aimbot and they're not getting the views that they should be getting it's false pretense on what they're doing i don't understand you know what it is but in actuality let me take that back i do understand what it is you know what it is activision has a whitelist youtube has a whitelist so there's supposed to be another video out that i saw and i was looking at it and with the whitelist it is those that are like the top streamers get like a million views and have 13 14 20 000 people watching them don't touch them but they signed a contract that if you um, if you get exposed, then you have to come clean. And if not, we're going to show everything that you're doing. So that's part of the whitelist because YouTube's not going to care because people are giving them donations. And guess what? YouTube gets a part of that donation. So they're making money. And Activision, their game is getting exposed for more people to buy it, buy the little content and the variants and all that kind of stuff. So it's a win-win. But when the, the table falls, they're going to back out and, and say, hey, we don't want you no more. So when YouTube say, uh, oh, you gone, then what's gone? Activision. You feel me? Or Sledgehammer or whatever game that you're playing. This is not only in this game. It's in Battlefield, but it's not as rampant. Uh, it's also in Cold War. It's damn near every video game you play. But, uh, hey, I'm very convinced on it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go give uh, Bad Boy Beeman a... Um, a follow if you guys are interested in seeing more things because he's tired of it we want to get our game back we want to be able to enjoy and show that we got skills too you know what i'm saying come watch these guys like murder show extendo clips from within game and me uh as promised uh big priest a bunch of people out there and we're not getting these views because people are cheating and being misled thinking that they're doing a great job and oh they're such a great player if they're a great player then hey so be it you know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on nobody. But I'm saying when you're out here cheating, ruining the games for everybody else and ruining the money that we spent, I'm not having it. So I wanted to bring it to my community's attention to show you what I found. I don't take credit for this video, but I did chop it up and put, you know, a little circle so we could actually see the pinpoint from uh, uh, Bad Boy Beamer's video. But if you like this, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Trovo, Twitch. YouTube, Facebook Gaming. Hey, Lockdown Crew, thank you guys for watching this video. We out of here. Peace.